It's always lovely to see you. Thank you. It's nice um, to be here. And we're often talking about TV when you're here, but now we're talking about your autobiography, Little Me. Little there Me. There he is, little old me. Um, yeah. And this is, this is done quite differently. This is your life in A to Z form. That's right, that's right. So I've written this autobiography, but um, uh, I've done it as an A to Z. So uh, B is for bald, because I lost my hair when I was six, and E is for eating. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, it's a kind of love letter to food, and G is for gay, and, and J is for Jewish. And, and so it is it's a really my story. Interesting way of yeah, it. it's, it's my story. But I thought, because I thought otherwise, I didn't want to do an autobiography where you start off, I was born in blah, 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 because mm. I thought, oh, no one cares about that. Um, so this way I can just kind of get to the interesting bit. What is yeah. Z? That's what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> Z is. Don't tell them, you'll have to buy the book. Yeah, yeah. buy yeah. the book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but you say, you say that about the childhood, but because um, I, I read the book and actually I found the childhood stuff really interesting and it is kind of what shapes us, isn't mm. it? Mm. Yeah, well, I lost, I lost my hair when I was six. Yeah. It all just fell out. And, and so, it, it, in a weird kind of way, I was sort of like famous as a kid. And everybody in my town knew me. I kind of couldn't get away with anything. So I thought, oh. I thought, oh. Exactly the same. I'm about, yeah, I'm about eight, eight years old so there. Cute. And, nice tank top. Um, but did it just literally fall out or did yeah. it start to fall out in it, sort of stages? Yeah, it fell out over the space of two or three months across one summer. I would wake up every morning and there would be strands of hair on my pillow. Oh. But because I was kind of known, already, oh, that's the kid with no hair, I thought I would want to do something with this, with this attention. You know, and that's what made me become a performer, really. But wasn't it quite difficult for you at first? Didn't you even attempt to wear a wig? At I one did wear point? a wig, yeah. Did so you? when I was, when I was eleven, I'd been bald for, <coughs> excuse me, five years, and then I was getting ready to go to secondary school, and my parents thought, oh, maybe secondary I should... school's hard enough. Mm. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So they thought, well, maybe it'll help me fit in if I wear a wig. So I actually got a wig on the National Health. Mm. And what was that wig like? Yeah, it wasn't great because they didn't make kids wigs on the National Health. So I had a woman's wig. <laughs> and it was huge. It was, like, bigger than my head. <laughs> and, 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 I, I, and I had one term left at primary school, so I went in on the first day of the last term to wear this wig as kind of practice. And one of the older boys just ran past me, ripped it off my head and threw oh. it in a puddle. Oh. But that was the best thing anyone could have done, really. But baldness ran in my family. I didn't realise that my own father wore a wig. Really? And when I, yeah, and when I was about uh, 10 or 11, one morning, before going to Hebrew classes on a Sunday, he summoned me into the bathroom, shut the door and said, look, I've got something to tell you. And then he started to peel back wow. his wig and said, I'm like you, I've got no hair, but don't tell anyone. And then I went into Hebrew classes and I went, guess what, my dad wears a wig! <laughs> and everyone, everyone went, yeah, we know! <laughs> it's really obvious, <laughs> yeah. But do they know why you lost your hair? Well, we don't know. I mean, there's theory... I, so, two years earlier, when I was four, I was knocked down by a car on holiday in Portugal, and people always thought, oh, it's the shock that made my hair fall out. Um, but there's some other medical theories. They're all in the book, Little Me yeah. by Matt Lucas. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you say um, yeah. about uh, the, the kid that ran past and ripped you. Yeah. Now, now we go, oh, my God, that's really bullying. Did, yeah. did you sort of see it as that at the yeah, time? Yeah, I think I did, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think it was, I think it was tough. You know, I was, I was one of those kids that was marked out, yeah. But that forced me out of myself to develop a quick wit, you know. So sometimes little kids would come up to me and go, you got no hair. And I'd go, yeah, right. oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> like that. So it made me kind of come up with gags. Mm. You talked about... Um eating and things and comfort eating and you actually had were taken to a slimming club when yeah you, when you, i was 13 teenager. you wouldn't know it to look at me now <laughs> but when i was 13 i was a bit overweight and uh and so i was taken to weight watchers by my mum it was decided something needed to be done and i think by the way i need to go back actually um and uh i went there and of course years later in little britain we had a, a slimming yeah, uh, exactly. Marjorie it. Dawes. High and fat, and fat. Brilliant. Yeah, all of that. And the thing was, the thing I always remembered when I was 13 was that there was the woman there at the beginning of every week would go, Have we got any new members? <laughs> <laughs> new members? <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, so, so, so I sort of, we put that into the show. <laughs> Never. New. <laughs> <laughs> Spell N O O O O O O O O. Yeah, new. And also the other thing was, 
It was, they were always trying to, they would say, say, you know, you can, you can make your own slimming version of a shepherd's pie, but the Weight Watchers version of the shepherd's pie is very slim. And so she was really trying to sell us all the Weight Watchers <laughs> oh, yeah. products. So we put that into, into Little Britain with Marjorie. Yeah. See, now you've just done that, Roy, and everybody, there's such a great yeah. warmth for yeah. Little Britain. Oh, thank you. But you, you sort of make a little suggestion in the book that there are some characters that you probably wouldn't do now. Yeah, I mean, Little Britain is about 15, 16 years old now, if you think of the... Oh. Yeah, 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 we're old, aren't we? <laughs> we all got old. Um, and, and I think you would do things differently now. I don't think you'd do a funny... Uh, a, there was a character who was a rubbish transvestite, you know, who oh, said, yeah, I'm yeah, a lady. Yeah. 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 yeah, and she was fun at the time, but I think we look at the transgender community differently now. I think, mm. I think it would be very hard to do that now. I think it would be hard to play characters of other races now. And even Marjorie, you know, people talk about that now as in terms of fat shaming. So we would, uh, we would definitely approach it very differently. Well, it's very oh, hard. God. I was going to say, it must be hard. Well, yeah. I, think, now. I think that was always the thing, because people say, oh, are you and David going to bring back Little Britain? But I think if you brought it back the way we did it then, you would upset a lot of people. And if you, but if you did it differently, it wouldn't be Little wouldn't Britain. Be so that show sort of has to exist there.